Hey, what's up guys? It's the dude who makes the same video every day here. How's it going? Hopefully everybody's doing great. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about a few subjects. Um, one of which is uh, me dropping that onto the ground. But the next one is of um, tutoring. I didn't know that this actually happens. Of course I know tutoring happens. But uh, for everyone who's just starting back in school, I... You know, back in my days, we didn't have all this uh, stuff online. But apparently, like, when they do the Zoom class, whatever thing, there's, like, tutoring stuff now where apparently in certain states, they're, like, requiring that the freaking person show around their room and and uh, their ID and all of this stuff to, like, make sure they don't cheat. But that's, like, completely weird and, like, yeah. I don't know why that's even a thing. Um... But anyway, another one is that Google, I can't be specific on this story because um, you guys can just look it up for yourselves, but uh, Google, basically some person um, took a picture of something on their phone and all of a sudden the police were at their house because Google is looking at your pictures that you upload and uh, it turns out that what the guy took a picture of was not what they thought it was, but they still sent cops there anyway. Um, which is very, very terrible for our future, considering that we can't even live our lives safely in our homes anymore either. Um, and then what's the next one? The last one is just, um, you know me, I, I always talk about AI and all of that nonsense, all of the f hopeful technology. But just another example of proving that hopeful technology is flawed and can't ever advance farther than people assume it will is there is AI imaging that a lot of people are um, getting real excited over because there's like all of these new programs that generate AI generated images from scratch and they're 100% custom and unique, but no, they're not. Um, first of all, you can't get a AI generated image copyrighted and because it's not by human. And for the ones that are done by humans, even if they are vectored into a digital design, um, they can only use an influence of likeness, which means that the algorithm is extremely limited. Then there's also restrictions on their basis of what they don't decide to also put into their algorithm. Then there's a matter of them not updating their algorithm. So that way, the AI image process that they claim can create endless amounts of content is a sham. It's 100% limited and is very limited considering all of the restrictions due to copyright laws and um, the fact that they can't use a lot of the other images that may be copyrighted or anything too close to it. So they have to code their algorithms to make the image look something like what you probably don't want it to look like. If you were trying to recreate an exact look of something that's copyrighted, you wouldn't be able to because they'd have to set up their algorithms to make it not happen. Which means that it's limited, making it, you know, not <laughs> unlimited. But anyway, yeah, just another fail of hopeful technology and scary technology and uh, scary uh, policy of, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Um, I just wanted to mention that, all that stuff. And I hear sirens in the back like you usually do. Um, anyway, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video and hopefully you're enjoying your day. And uh, pick up some oil.